It's the 31st of July, 2011. I am in my back garden. That's Bernie Goldbach. He's in his back garden. And you can find me on Google Plus if you go to G Plus dot to stroke top gold that's where i am i'm showing you some quick things probably 22 different pages of the Sunday times and business post in ireland starting off with time to raise the bar it's an article by kathy foley she writes really well about temple bar her point is that there are practical reasons why temple bar has to change the ways that it's doing business perhaps trying to get more of a cultural hook in with the locals that's her interest i like temple bar i walk through temple bar and down the street that's shown in the Sunday Times Culture Magazine down the cobblestones where gigantic holes are in the path and just the facade, just the fronts of the buildings were there. And I remember watching um, several, of these, several different ones of these building sites that uh, the men, the builders are inside of them and they're peeing in your urinals that, that weren't connected to anything anymore. Just a little treasure that I have in my memory. Temple Bar deserves to survive and survive more than just being a pub zone. Sunday Business Post leads with, uh, well, David Norris' smiling face. And the unfortunate thing is, he's connected to defending a friend who um, had sex with a minor. You can't do that. You can't be president in Ireland and be associated with anything that's uh, untoward like that. So, Pat Leahy makes the point that Norris did not disclose to fellow, fellow Oroctus members that his former partner had, convic had a conviction for sex with an underage youth. And um, that's a problem. The disclosure, lack of disclosure problem, and the defense of them is a problem. I mean, sometimes you have to cut your risk. You have to tell your friends you did wrong and, and you can't stand up for them anymore. Inside the middle of the news focus section of the Sunday Business Post are some interesting points about NAMA, the National Asset Management Agency in Ireland, and the toxic property assets. So there's some photos of Port Monarch. Hotel and Golf links the Western Hotel Airport, or rather in Leakslip, and the Louis Vuitton store in Bond Street, New Bond Street, London. And then what I did in my Google or my Picasso albums is I highlighted some of the places such as the Dolman Hotel, Foot Island uh, Hotel and Spa, Maldron Hotel in City West, Clarion's hotels around the country that, that we like going to. They're all NAMA properties. It'd be handy, as Gavin Daly would probably argue, and so would Gavin Sheridan, for more transparency behind the financial secrets hidden in the NAMA list. You've got to have more transparency. You also have to have something done with the average juror who doesn't understand the need to not search Google while on a uh, in jury duty. Really interesting article by Karen Wood. He makes the point that just a lot of people who are serving jury duty still they have an addiction to Twitter or an addiction to Google or an addiction to Facebook and they, they actually communicate with uh, defendants. Can't do that. Okay, Brian Collins writes an interesting point, taking the column and technology that Adrian Weckler would take. Collins is the chief executive officer of Adaptive Mobile, and his point is, there's a myth about the quality of Irish education. The fact of the matter is, Ireland needs more science and more maths in the curriculum. Otherwise, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna pull in good, um, Good innovation results. Unless you have people who think science, think math. Apps of the week. Here we are. This iPad app, BBC iPlayer, is really good. Seven euro a month. Recommended. Probably one of the best apps for the iPad out there. And this gadget of the week is called Swiss Voice e Pure. 75 euro. Off you go. Get it. Especially if you're on Skype. But no, as Stephen Price would tell you, once you do those things, you're probably getting into a consumerism or uh, urge and you're helping a Chinese sweatshop continue its business. China Labor Watch, which is a uh, an American non-governmental organization, will help you feel guilty about your iPhone and iPurchases. Front page of Sunday Times. NAMA gives up on 37.5 billion euro of taxpayers' money. Uh, the story is that I think it was 44 percent of the Irish GDP uh, goes out on debts like that, and and. <laughs> They're, they've been written off. So basically, 37 billion has been written off. The money went in to NAMA by the Irish Treasury. It's the pension fund and all the all the other money that the Irish had for operating expenses, social welfare expenses, and things like that. 37 billion was put in to kind of stabilize the banks and were given it up. 
which is a big reason why you have to figure out that some of the money that went in there needs to be, the pain for some of that give up needs to be felt by the bondholders. They shouldn't get that money back. They shouldn't get that money back. In, our, in America, we're watching what's happening. Robert Watts, Ian, Ian Day points out that no matter what happens, the major lenders, such as Standards & Poor's, are going to downgrade the United States debt rating. It's going to cost Americans more money. It's going to cost them tax. It's going to cost them services that the American government can provide. If you plan to be in Dublin, I think it's in June of 2012, hey, check this out. Formula One City Race, Bavarian City Racing is what it's called. Um, they put on a show. They've made all the pit babes now curvy, not skinny. So um, if you fancy a chance to see a high-speed racer or the crew, well, geez, hang out in Dublin, Nassau Street, College Green. It would be a hell of an event. <laughs> it would attract more people than Obama. I'll tell you what, I'd go there just have the eardrums burn out. All right, here we go. Better idea, maybe. Stephen O'Brien talks about writing being on the wall for school book reprints. The idea is that firms such as C.J. Fallon, Fallon's Foreign Publications at all, they've been asked to uh, kind of keep the price down, that is to say, not reprint curriculum materials when it's not a significant change, and they're agreeing with that. And I'd ask, you know, if these kind of the articles are run, and Rory Quinn, the Minister of Education, actually wants to make a big change, he ought to be commissioning some kind of an e-ink action group to see how to cut the cost even more. Damien Kyber, in his Irish outlook, rails against Irish welfare payments, pointing out that rural TDs know that their combined income in a household might be 70,000 euro a year in cash. Thank you very much, welfare state. And now Cullen says that, you know what, in Ireland you have 4.6 million people living here and yet 7.2 million PPS numbers. That's like 3 million more people who have social security numbers in Ireland. I don't get it. Property vehicle, NAMA. How long will it take to restart the market? Ask Anya Coffey. It's, you know, throughout the papers that the news in a slow news month is about the property problem here in Ireland. The thing I mentioned was that nothing NAMA's done, nothing that well-intentioned CEOs paid well have done can actually jumpstart the property market. And, you know, there's some people that would argue for as long as NAMA is in existence, the market will remain depressed. Hey, here's us. Education, the net works for social students. Kathy Foley wrote the article citing some stuff that we have. That's me, Bernie Goldbach, talking about uh, the use of uh, Google Plus in our curriculum and media writing. And the thing I like the best, John Breslin is talking about setting up a prototype service called Research, researchers.ie, trying to build up a portal of research portfolios gathered from LinkedIn and other networks. Okay, I didn't cover stuff such as Amy Winehouse and cover the innocent lives lost from Norway. I feel bad about that. Just so just so you know, you catch up with me on Twitter at TalkWorld, on Google Plus, Bernard Goldbach, on Flickr as Irish Eyes. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next week. Maybe from Temple Bar. Bye for now.